Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? Bastard. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my saddle. See him? I saw his picture in the paper. You don't see that every day. That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? says I'll never be an actress. Son, you're a couple of sleep. Whoa, this day was totally top of my class down. back east. Now I'm waiting tables. You want a tip? We fill my coffee faster next time, honey. I used to be indecisive. Did you read about the woman? Top of my class bag. Waste of the police force. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Guy gave his wife a tap. Will you look at this clown? Wow, that looks like a beauty.
Olive oil comes from olives. Where does baby oil? You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Broad has socks in it, Brazil. Three blondes walk into a bar. Uh, waitress. Did I get another spoon? That cherry pie was delicious. Help me out. Well, the kid isn't back somewhere. Let's pick him up. Just need the cop they've been talking about on the radio. Boy, that steak had seen better days. I was married by a judge. My father said I'd never be jury. an actress. Town is going straight to hell. But you're real. I love these waitresses. Hey, Cole, let's get moving.
Kiernan! LAPD! What are you waiting for? Get after him! We might go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. These are flashy cars to be parked outside a bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast-living individual with money to burn, Cole. Or a middle-aged individual with the need to feel virile. The joyride is over, kid. Another runner. Well, at least we've got a suspect. Why do they always run? I'm sure we've got the wrong person in more than one of these homicides, but they always seem to lamb it. You know, your theories are not airtight by any means, fellas. If this isn't the killer, we can at least get him for reckless endangerment. That's unless he runs into a wall and saves us all the trouble. Belts! You gotta get me closer! He's going through the square! I hope the people see him in time to get out of the way. What if they run because someone's setting them up? Because they feel like the deck is stacked against them. Yeah, don't make up ridiculous stories for them, detective. Leave that to the first imagination. Hit it! Clean this asshole off the road! Whoa, looks like we're going into the tunnels. God damn it, he'll kill himself. It's all right, as long as he doesn't kill us, I'm okay with it. Spin him out! That is the end of that! It's about fucking time! Show me your hands! We need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. It's got to be McCaffrey. Unless Tiernan set him up. You don't think that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? Well, whoever did it, at least it wasn't that Dahlia fuck. How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the Dahlia? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together at a later date. I'll hold you to that. You sure you can make it stick with one of these suspects, gentlemen? It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan is a one, McCaffrey is in two. I want a confession from one of them. Don't fail me, young Phelps. Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Keep lying to me and I'll have you charged and in front of a grand jury before your feet touch the ground. <laughs> How can you possibly prove Evelyn and I were more than friends?
It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Sounds like half an answer to me, Ternan. Were you sleeping with her? That's none of your business. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it? She wanted something of his. You hate McCaffrey. You're trying to frame him for this. You've got the wrong guy. How can you prove that? Sorry, my mistake. We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. Well, McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. I mean, he always makes out it was some kind of labor dispute. But, you know, I'm, I'm not so sure. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. I want the truth. I think you broke into McCaffrey's apartment and planted a lug wrench there. I didn't do that, and there's no way you can prove any different. Looks like I was mistaken. Coroner's report says that Evelyn was killed with a wrench. I think you did it and then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. We went to his apartment. McCaffrey was up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. He can be very cruel. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, a present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down to one round. You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. You told us you barely knew Evelyn Summers. She hung around sometimes. I had very little to do with her. You'll have to do better than that, Grosvenor. We know about you and Evelyn. Evelyn was a lush and a boring one at that. You can't link her to me. Seems there's a serious gulf between what you think you know and what you actually do, detective. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. You're going to need to do better if you don't want to swing for this. I was having a political meeting in my apartment. 
Cheese and crackers for the fifth columnist. Some of these people will corroborate your story. I won't give up names of party members. Good. It's your funeral. We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment, and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? I don't believe you, Grosvenor. The evidence says that you killed her. You can prove that I wanted to kill Evelyn? Tiernan is prepared to testify that you threatened Evelyn's life in his presence. Self-preservation. That's understandable. Okay, I'll level with you. Tiernan killed Evelyn. He came to me for help. I listened to him, and he explained why he did it. Tiernan went to you for help. You expect me to buy that? That's how it went down. I told him he made a terrible mistake, but he would be throwing his life away if he went to the cops. I took his things and told him I would dispose of them. But you didn't. Speak to Tiernan. He'll give it up. It's either going to be you or Tiernan, Grosvenor. Make it stick, detective. The party has good lawyers. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, Detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Says he almost beat the woman to death. Thanks. You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw. It changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge, beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! She tried to steal from my wallet! I could have fought for this country! I could have... You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch! What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her! I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Governor McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot. Grand. Now, 
I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse, and neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot at the prison graveyard. We have lost most of Shaughnessy and Dunn's squad. The Gunny is dead, first platoon is in worse shape. That medic is either crazy or the bravest man alive. Then we rally with the first, the try for the Naboos. It's here to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Naboos and Infilate. Mate, we can lose dead everyone. Shit, Lieutenant. Get back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? My company, 22nd Marines, Lieutenant. And we just saved your ass by four. The river. My orders are to reconnoiter the... I think that point is now moot. You have ten men left. My orders are to save what's left. Move out! Well done, lads. You did well with the Summers case. But we have a problem. The examiner received a new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Go right ahead. They've both been rinsed in gasoline like the previous letters, so I can't lift a print. No one else but the killer knew about this message. Another snippet from the Shelley poem. To suffer woes which hope thinks infinite, to forgive wrongs darker than death or night. If the note is from the Dahlia maniac, he definitely also killed Teresa Terrellson. Mal and I agree. But where does that leave us? If this is the Dahlia killer, and he is responsible for the Terrellson murder, not to mention the Moloch... Hang case. on a moment, Skipper. Let me finish, Rusty. We have five birds in hand and none in the bush. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. Your careers would be over for a start, gentlemen. Looking in wonder... Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, yet I knew this run was too good to be long. true. I hid myself within a fountain in the public square. You like that stuff? What is it supposed to it's mean? Supposed to, forget what it's supposed to, What does he want? Where it are to, you going with this, Cole? He's obviously taunting us. He believes he's far more intelligent than we are. Okay. It's some kind of story, right? A guy that God hates chains him up. It's an allegory, Rusty. A what? story with two meanings. A symbolic meaning. But that's what he wants us to think. Could he be using it literally? Within a fountain in a public square? Could it be that easy? Could somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? The fountain in Pershing Square. Come on, we have a clue. Captain, thanks, Ray. Be careful, Phelps. This is his game you're playing now. <laughs> 